All right, so there's been an update as to why Little Boosie was, um, I guess, connected with the death of the uh, Chicago jeweler because his um, he has a family member, a cousin or something like that, was in on the dice they was playing dice little boosie he uh, performed at a venue and after the performance they went back to some spot and they were shooting dice <clears throat> and while they're shooting dice everybody had their jewels out everybody's you know rocking ice and they have their little Louis Vuitton bags and Gucci bags stuff full of cash and everything and everybody's you know playing dice and a lot of the people that were there I guess they knew each other but the Chicago guy the jeweler I don't know if you could say he was out of his element because he's not from that area so he went there to see Boosie maybe to drum up some business for his jewelry store young guy maybe 26 24 whatever so he's all iced out, rocking all his jewelry. And before meeting up with Bootsy, um, he's posting stuff on Instagram. Him standing in an elevator that's mirrored with all with all his jewelry on, his pieces and bags and stuff like that. And according to reports, during the dice game, he was winning big. I think he won 50000 from Bootsy or something like that. But again, a lot of the people that were there knew each other, and supposedly he was there by himself, but then they said that he was there with one other guy. So, everybody sees what's going on, everybody's watching, and if there's any wolves in the in the room, and they know each other, but they don't know you, they can see you as a potential lick. They can see you as a lick. So, this this goes back to moving moving smart and 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 just knowing how to move in another man's city or whatever. Who who cares? Forget about all of that. This guy basically, if he wasn't carrying a gun or, or a vest, he was um, basically an easy target. But anyway, right? So. The reason why they were trying to tie this to Bootsy and saying that this is a Bootsy, <laughs> a little Bootsy um, set up or whatever is because a family member that was basically in the video filmed showing him there drove the same car that the, the murderer drove the exact same color, the exact same make and model car that the murderer drove away in belonged to this guy that is related to Bootsy. So, this is why they're, they're putting it on Bootsy. So, the guy is walking to his car, supposedly alone, but then they said he was with one other guy. But in the park, unless the guy ran away and nobody, who knows? So I think it was um, reported that it was just one person asked him to give it up. Either he didn't want to give it up or the guy shot him and took it off him. Who knows? But it's like a robber going to a bank. The robber knows there's money in the bank. That's why he go there to rob it. Same thing with the dice game. They see him winning big. They see him with all his jewels on. And he walks to the car by himself. Jeweled up and everything. So <laughs> the guy steps to him. And then next thing you know, there's um, shots fired and the guy is, is now deceased and all his jewelry is gone all his money is gone and the guy is deceased now so 
it just goes to show you that again now let's let's keep in mind Bootsy's the one that's the artist he's the one that's making the money his nephew or cousin or whoever that was is not making money now unless if if Boosie's not breaking him off something and he's feeling like you know he needs to go rob somebody in order to keep up with Boosie's lifestyle who knows but he probably just saw it as an easy give me and, and he's up one I don't know but he killed the guy now I'm not saying that this guy that's related to Boosie did it what I'm saying is that reports and what is um being uh, shown on the internet is that you see him at the dice game he drove the same exact color make model car that the murderer drove was seen driving away in it just doesn't look good now these investigators will do the investigation and depending if there was cameras in the area It'll be easy to, to spot the person. It'll be easy to, to bring this person to justice. Because supposedly the, the person... I don't think the person even had a mask on or anything. Not that it would make a difference. Because if there's cameras in the area. And the car had license plates on it. Oh, they're going to find the person. That's easy. <clears throat> the tag will basically identify the driver. And... One, two, three, you're out of there. But again, in this day and age with cameras being so readily available, I don't know how anybody in their right mind could do something so brazen and think that they could ride off into the sunset, you know, with with their um with their loot. It just doesn't happen nowadays. <laughs> So, hey, yeah, basically stay safe out there and, you know, hope for the best. But I just hope that these people that like to show off their wealth understand that these people out here are not playing. They'll take your life. Even though you think, oh, there's cameras, there's people, it's a broad daylight. These, these jokers will take your life. And then think about the consequences later. So y'all got to be safe out there. Because, again, as rich as you are, it won't stop a bullet from penetrating your body and taking your life. Yes, your wealth status is not basically bulletproof. So... Just keep that keep that in mind the next time you want to go to a mall or to a dirty hood and basically flex in front of poor people because it could be the last time you see your family members and you didn't gain anything from it. So disrespectful lyrics on <laughs> you got disrespectful lyrics on goddamn records you got these guys in the hood pulling up in hundred thousand dollar cars and nobody's looking for your autograph nobody's putting money in your pocket for showing up in their hood thank you thanking you for you appearing in their hood so why i don't get it i just don't get it but hey Y'all keep it up, and we'll be reading about you in in the, the papers and all of that because it's happening more frequently, and if you don't learn from what's happening in the past, the past will will, will repeat itself. So just keep that in mind. To the next one. Stuck in a little traffic heading to work on a Sunday. Yeah, still have the remnants of um, the storm in Florida where I think like 57 people 
died. Yeah, it's bad out in Florida. Good weather, but when it's bad, it's really bad. Ooh, that bus was in an accident. Uh, anyway, till next one.